I'm trying to think of a movie where that happens. Like, I always, I, I kind of want to say, if you guys have read the series Aragon, um, I heard the fourth book came out pretty recently. Uh, I forgot what it was. I think it was called Inheritance, and it's the green one. And it's like, who's the who's the king? I can't remember his name because I re- haven't read the books in a while, but I loved them when I was a lot younger, except for the movie. The movie was shit. I'm sorry. That movie was pretty bad. All right, so here, re- Redemption! All right, so now what we're going to want to do here, we have to kill him with electricity. Now, there are defibrillators that we can go through this entire level and run through them, but there's also puddles of uh, water that we need to also do that. So be careful because this guy is uh, pretty much invincible unless we can get him into the electricity. And there's going to be a cutscene showing when he's going to come out. So this is the, basically the final boss. And he, like I said, he just comes out of nowhere. And so basically we can keep knocking him into this if we wanted to. Uh, there isn't really a point to having Amy here since we can't heal. But um, what we're supposed to do is get him on his hands and knees so that he dies. Or so that he'll die. <laughs> And then um, we'd do a final blow with that. But it's kind of hard because I'm not sure if you have to do a specific amount of damage. Because it seems really random when we're supposed to or not. So this guy is a little creepy because... Um, okay, so here we can grab a defib. I think in here. Yeah, there it is. Now, there he is. He's going to start running now. Hopefully he doesn't come off to our right. Hopefully he comes to the other side of the mines over here. Or else I'll be kind of mad. We want to be careful over here because we can activate it. You see those puddles over there? We can activate the defib over there. Oh my god! What the fuck, man? Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm activating it right here. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay. I'm gonna run over here. Okay. What the? Ah, oh, man. Alright, well, basically, <laughs> I guess... Okay, since I'm pretty sure this is gonna be its own episode, and the ending to this game is just laughable, I'm just gonna show all my deaths. Or if it gets really redundant, then I won't, but... Um, we can use the defibrillator where, uh, he said, and it, the game gives you, a, like, a, I think roughly a minute to find what you need to find. And if you know where everything is, then you'll be good. Um, there's another defibrillator in here. And, um, do not use deliberators who is heard lying on a damp surface. So there's that. And, um, did we just grab a health? Did we? Yes, we did. Okay. So here's that room that we were just in. And we're gonna go ahead. And this is the hospital, mind you. So there's some health they put around. It's not really... Like amazing, but um, so we want to be a little bit careful because there's some spots where it, he's just stupid spawn. So this this hospital is pretty big too. Like I'm not gonna lie, if we're in the wrong spot, there's another defib in here actually. So don't get caught in here because you'll probably get screwed. Uh, it's a really weird, creepy room. Come on, Amy. Oh shit, here he comes. All right. So what? Oh, that's not the door I wanted to go to. Let's go over here to this door right over here. All right, and then we're gonna activate the defib over here. Amy, I don't know where you are, but don't be a dumbass. All right, there. And this only activates one puddle, which is really dumb. It doesn't make any sense. All right, there. Shit, shit. Don't walk into that. Okay, fuck, fuck you. All right, there, and there. Get into the electricity, you fool. No! Please, please, please don't. Wow, nice uh, go in there, game. Okay, it looks like we're in just a... Did they not really make a hot? They just made a hallway. Wow. Well, there's another place we can do this that's a little bit easier, but I think what I'm going to do now, what I did last time, I just sat in the mines for a little bit until he came. I didn't even use the defibrillator to kill him, so... Okay, back here again. Sorry, I was going to cut that last one because that was kind of dumb. I didn't feel like showing that, but we got kind of close on that one, so there's that. We're going to retake this defib. Now, there's a couple other places we could go. This is where I usually have been going, but I'm going to explore a little bit more. Um... Because I know there there has to be a better place of doing this. That's where he's... Okay, here's this area. This area is a little tough because this is right next to where we spawn. But he will... Um, I think he comes from where we came. I'm not exactly sure. But there are two over here. So you kind of want to be a little bit careful here because it's a little crazy. <laughs> and he's really annoying to have to run away and dodge when you, when you don't have anything to heal yourself with. So there's one over there, fortunately. Uh, so sometimes he'll just... He just... Ow, what the fuck? Okay, I guess you can do that. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let's see where he is. Does he come from over there? I'm trying to think where he comes from. Cause he's not coming anywhere. Oh, there he is. All right, so sometimes he'll be a dumbass and not like uh, go around the mines like he could have on that first one over there. Like right here, he'll just keep on going. And you want to be careful for this because um, you can still get contaminated in the hospital and die of decontamination, but. I wish, I wish we had like a gun or something. All right, you know what? When he's right about out, we're gonna push him in there. And he will attack us while he's still within the radius. There, 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 right here! Yeah! Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead. Come on. 
I'm not sure. Fuck! Okay. And just kind of, like, juggle him. See, look at that! He did a very fast movement! You asshole! Okay, you guys, I said I wasn't gonna cut, but, um, after a couple times of troubleshooting this entire part, of just, like, looking around and kind of sacrificing myself to see what better ways there are to doing this, there are actually a couple of different things. So you can tell we picked up a defib there. I think I already done that in the past. I'm not sure what I'm gonna cut and what I haven't yet. But, um, what we're gonna want to do now is pick up as many syringes as we can. I know I said that wasn't important before, but I think at this point, at this conjecture, it would be very beneficial to our interest to do so. So, we're gonna pick up as many as we can over here. As you go in here, there's, like, the zombie embryo room. I'm not sure if I showed that yet, but it's basically a bunch of fucking zombie babies everywhere, and that this place is being harvested. How ironic that the place we're gonna, like, hide from all these zombies is the place where they're being all bred. It's like, what is this, Black Mesa? So... I'm gonna run over here. Make sure Amy's still following you, because he can still get contaminated in the hospital, which I thought was fucking funny, but he's gonna start coming here in a second. There he is. Alright, now we're gonna pick this up. This should be, I think, the last one. I think that's six now. So, or seven, but... Now we're in this room right here. Now this room, he's gonna get electrocuted. There are two mines in this part. Now when enemies get electrocuted, they can only get electrocuted in the same mine once before, uh before it becomes inactive for them, but what the game doesn't recognize is the fact that the enemies will still move slowly throughout the mines like they are right here, and what's good about that is the fact that there's two mines here, so we can juggle them back and forth between those parts and still hurt them with the electricity as well as our newfound crowbar, which is really nice, and um, right here when he gets close to us, we're going to go ahead and uh, hit him so that we can do a little bit of damage, and then like I said, the, tre the mine won't be activated for him anymore, so we're going to want to keep that in mind, like right here he's still... He got hurt from it once, but he won't get hurt from it again. And he's still in there, so... Please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Ow! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, don't hurt me again! Okay, god damn it. Okay, see, so yeah, as you can tell, it doesn't hurt him. So we're gonna heal... Oh, we got seven. So that was seven, not six. I didn't know if I picked that other one up before. Alright, there we go. So now that that's done, we're gonna basically juggle in between here. And I know this is cheap, and I kinda didn't want to do this before. But I just figured that since this is fucking hard, and I've already been doing this part for like almost half an hour another way. I just decided to do it like that, so. So we're gonna go ahead and head over here and run away. Because I missed him with the fucking crowbar. You don't want him to get too close like he did right there, because otherwise we're gonna get screwed over like I just did. And it's not very good to get screwed over, because it results in re-records and much frustration. Much to my sagreen, so yeah, this this game is a bunch of bullshit sometimes, but I don't know. Just just like I don't know. Some sometimes I don't know. I, I think I've been a little too pessimistic when playing this through this, but still at the same time. All right, you know what? Die, please. And she'll always do this death animation, which is really annoying because it puts him back up, and then he'll be able to hurt us again like that. Fuck no, you don't. Okay, there. See, that's not usually he's not usually supposed to hit us after he gets out of the mine. But, it's because he was so close, I think we should just be standing on, like, the polar opposites where we need to be. There we go. So, so when he tries to attack us, he will get electrocuted. And Amy doesn't have to be following us this entire time either, so keep that in mind. Yeah. So, like I said, I, I might, I may or may not have been too pessimistic in my prior acknowledgement of this game, but... This game is still very poorly done, in my opinion. I, I, I don't like this game at all. Some people praise, like, difficult games, and they say that this game is good because it's difficult, but I say it's not good because it's difficult. I say it's bad because it's difficult, because this game has broken on so many aspects. I, I say broken like it's, a, like, irreparable, but it's not exactly broken as it is poorly executed and conceived. I mean, this game is very ambitious, as you guys have already seen, because... Um, as you can tell, like, blending in with the zombies, you know, will it blend? <laughs> oh, God. You know, blending in with the zombies and, you know, trying to, you know, sneak past them while being one of them, but without dying if you get too contaminated. That, I thought, was, that would have been, like, a really cool aspect if they had done it right. I mean, I don't, I don't even know. I've never heard of Velocity Cell in my life, but I'm, I'm gonna be very hesitant on picking anything up by them in the future, so, I don't know. So next time, if this game ever gets a physical release, I don't know, I'd kind of laugh. <laughs> Will it? God, I just can't stop thinking of that now. Will it blend? God damn it. Come on. You guys remember that? Did you guys ever see that? It was so funny in that episode where he blended Guitar Hero. It's like, Guitar Hero, will it blend? My grandson is only seven years old and he's been playing this over and over. And something like that. And he's like, and I'm going to blend it today because it didn't have any Beach Boys in it. <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't know. God, I, I should just start watching that again. That was so funny. I don't know if he's making any more, but those are always enjoyable, I guess, like, side diversions of shit. 
and such, so I don't know. This this series has made me very edgy, and it might be really weird watching this like right after watching like my one of my To the Moon episodes, but because that is like kind of like a somber. Wow, I fucking hit him somehow. Because that has a very somber kind of sympathetic tone compared to this. As you guys can tell, here I've been like cursing all over the place. And normally I don't really like cuss as much as I have, even in rated M games. Like if you guys saw like No More Heroes of Shadows of the Damned, it's just like the casual fuck or something. But this one just brought me to like a frustration level that I've never seen before. And that is not even like, I'm like, I guess admittedly I have been kind of playing it up a little like with the frustration because it's not really that bad, but it's still frustrating to a fault. Like, like me dying, that is, it is very... I'm deserving of my frustration and anguish in my lungs and I'm still recording this on the same session as I did four. I've been playing this for more than three hours almost and I'm hoping my computer has enough memory. It does because I'm I'm saving all my files to different uh, thing because I knew this is gonna be a long recording so I think this guy he's too he's too close to the right side to be able to do anything so we're gonna electrocute him. So oh, what the fuck? Okay. There, there, he got hurt there. Jesus Christ, see, this game is just really inconsistent, and I don't know. It's just so much of this game is at fault, like, I don't know. It's just really frustrating to try and do this, and I don't know. I'm, I'm ready to be done with this. I'm going to make sure not to do, like, because like, there are some games that are bad because they're bad, but this is, like, bad because it's difficult also. I mean, it's, like, not like Dark Souls difficulty, you know, how that game is really fucking hard, but if you if you level up correctly and you do shit good and you just persevere, you'll be good. But here, there is, like, no perseverance. You have to, this game, like, has, like, a strict regiment of what it wants you to do. All right, can we kill him, please? He's not dead yet. Damn it. So... I want to be careful though because this is really annoying. I'm glad they put that there. I'm glad that they put these two mines here because otherwise this is going to be very frustrating. Uh, and remember, earlier difficulties, um, he will be easier to kill a little, but also Amy will heal your health, which she's not doing here because we're playing on fucking hard. So. so let's see now. I think, and I hate how she has to do the like death blow every single time. So come on. There we go. Like this. Look at, look at, she's not even fucking. Okay, fuck, run. There. See, look at. Uh, so I'm sorry, you guys. This is just. Uh, I've already recorded like this like five times, just trying to like build up onto this part, and I'm hoping that this is gonna be the one where I win because <laughs> I'm tired of re-saying what I normally say or what I have been saying throughout the course of this. It's just like it's been a little bit different every single time, like in the sense that. I haven't done it like this. This is all built up. Like before, I only had two syringes when I tried this, and then I've repeatedly had like more. And death, please. He's not dead. He's not dead. He ain't not dead because he is black. God, and I hate how this enemy just comes out of nowhere. Like we've never heard of him before. There's like no build up to it. I think I already said the Aragon thing. I can't remember the king's name. Is Galbatorix? I just randomly remembered. It's because of that Torix part. And for whatever reason, the name Galbatorix always reminded me of like Legend of Dragoon and how we were like King Albert, and King Albert was like the spoilers replacement for Levitz. God, I almost want to make like a Japanese. Uh, I almost want to make a. God damn it. I almost want to make a Japanese PSN account so I could buy The Legend of Dragoon on the PSN network because it is currently not on there for American users, but it is on the Japanese version. And you guys know how on my No More Heroes LP, how there's like the parts where you could see the all the people naked, like what's her face and everyone. Well, not naked, but you could, you had like the character viewer that you could view all the characters in scanty clothing and such and how we had all those extra weapons. Well, that I actually got, I was able to get early because um, I was playing the Japanese version. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck. Okay, good. I didn't want her to wait there because the game got really retarded there. But um, actually, uh, the code that came for that was not, it didn't let me uh, download any of those things without a Japanese account. On, and I just made it. It's really easy to make a Japanese account. You just make it basically as if you were living in Japan or something, which is kind of funny. But um, I'm just half tempted to do that. But then, I'm, again, I'm kind of afraid that maybe the game will come in Japanese or something. And that would not be very fun. So. Oh, let's see what we got now. I think we can try this. All right, let's try. Oh fuck me! Did did did? Okay, what the what the hell happened there? I glagged him into that. Wow, is he dead yet? Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, okay. I think he's getting close to dead because when he does that, we have to stab him in the chest, and we'll be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my last of this. 
All right, so now we're gonna have to wait for him. All right, I'm hoping this is the last one because when he gets down on his hand, on his knees like that, we just go ahead and stick it like in his chest, and he's fucking dead. And he's still walking slow, even though he's not near the mines. Whatever. I've been recording for almost three hours. I'm done to be done with this. I'm done to be done. So let's just wait a second. And all right, there he is. All right, let's try this now. Come on, can we kill him? Oh, oh, we want to be careful. See right there. Oh, yeah, you guys. Oh my god, we almost killed ourselves, but we got him. Oh my god, and he's just dead now. <laughs> he just falls over dead. You guys, finally. Oh, what, 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 what? Finish the game and. Oh, no, you. No, you didn't, game. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe it just didn't activate yet. Okay, wait. What? Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. I was going to piss my pants in a second. And then here, avoid. Okay, I got to get that off screen. It's really easy to get. But I don't I don't think I really have to explain to you guys finally. All right, so now here we are. Done. At last. I might make a blooper reel one of these days, but still. God. So here we are. Everything's a-okay. to destroy a town to discover it. I had kept my promise to a little girl. She was in good hands now. <laughs> but somehow I knew it wasn't okay. No! Not a, not a sequel, please, for the love of God. And Sinjin. Amy has become a part of me. And I won't let anyone hurt her. Not anyone. Ever again. Wow. Hello, ladies. It looks like you could use some divine intervention. Wow. Now, of course, there's where it ends. For the love of God, you guys. And that's it. If they make a sequel to this, I swear to God. Well, there's Amy, ladies and gentlemen. My voice is getting very hoarse from all of this recording because I record. I started recording like at eight, like I said, and now it's like eleven thirty, just to get those three chapters. And granted, the game is difficult in the sense it, I don't think it took me eight hours to beat this. It's just that one part. If I had known you could put a goddamn child inside of a pipe, then I would have been good. But ugh. so here it is. Like God damn it, I hated this level. Somehow I got through that fucking scot free, and then we had to start killing people, and that's when the game really fell apart. So the the end of the game wasn't nearly as bad as the beginning when they started introducing all the concepts. I don't know what the hell that is. Are we in a fucking church? Or God damn it. Ah. So yes, uh, somebody next time somebody remind me not to play shitty game anymore. Except now everyone's every time I like LP something, they'll be like, "That was shitty." And then it's uh, so funny. Fucking Marcello had nothing else to do with the rest of the game. Just to be an annoying voice actor. I don't know. But we have all these weird French names. It's Celine Bavon, Damien Sorond, Christophe Duvaux, Anthony Hel Rosa Marmeth. You should all be ashamed of yourself, Jean-Claude Petit. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael Schbott. David Sam. Why do you have two first names as your name? I don't know what that is. A dead person just sitting somewhere? I think that was level two. What are Namco Bandai? Bandai, whatever. God. Here we are sneaking past that one guard to get onto the elevator where we are onto the uh, train where we make ourselves known. If we had not been dumbasses, if we had just stayed stealthy like we did there, we wouldn't even have to go through chapter four or five. We'd just gone straight to six. And what the hell is that? I've never seen that ever. Like, where, or did we? I don't think we ever did see that, but that's in like a kitchen. It's like, here's all the concept art for things that we did, decided not to put in the game, thank God. So two people did Lana, which is kind of funny. A voice actor for Amy. A voice actor for Amy. And then, I guess, Matt Getze played both Marcello and the, and soldiers, and unfortunate soldier. God damn it. Unfortunate soldier, really. Uh, oh, he's probably someone that just randomly died, but it's so funny. They had a voice actor for Amy? Jesus Christ. Thanks to the CNC. Thanks to the fire engine. Granny. Pff, granny animation. Yeah, granny animation it is. 1999, really. 
Look at all these, like, programs they use. Jesus Christ, you think you can make a better game with that? Oh, you guys. Oh. Well, there's Amy, like I've already said. I'm so glad not to be doing this ever again. Uh, I wonder how the people got their ranks on the leaderboard, because I still don't have a rank on there for whatever reason, but it's whatever, because I don't really care about the rank. Uh, finally, I never have to play this. I think I'm going to delete this. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to delete this when I'm done. Let's see leaderboards, my score. And is it, is it just completely random? I don't have anything there. I have no friends, apparently. Uh, so 666 obviously has no bearing. Well, a bit more people have beaten it. <laughs> Where the hell is mine? Why am I not up here? There's only like the top 20. Is that really? Or maybe that's all the people who have ever played this. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'd laugh. No hardest. Hmm. Okay, is it just loading or do I just have to wait a little bit? Because I remember Dogmatic had score, but it says the loading right there. I don't have a score for this game. What the hell? Maybe it's something. No. Hmm. Whatever. Well, we're done with this game. Thank God. I'll probably come back to this in a little bit, but I got to make sure that my videos saved and the audio worked. That would suck if it didn't. I am pretty sure it did, though, because if it didn't, then I would have already noticed, and I can already tell it's still recording. And I see my Audacity screen, so all is well in the world. And my name is Ellison Cruz, and we're going to be done with this forever. Oh, hey, welcome back to my dashboard. It's very nice. And all right. Uh, I'll see you guys for more Twilight Princess and To the Moon and whatever else I decide to LP after that. Oh, probably Super Mario 3D Land. I keep forgetting I have to play that game. <laughs> well, we're kind of close to that one. Not really, but we're kind of getting halfway there. So that's it. That's it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.